Recent update on the tragedy that struck Travis Scott's third annual Astroworld increases the death toll to 10 people, with the youngest victim being only nine years old. Since then, Scott has found himself named in multiple lawsuits in the center of many heated debates on who is to blame, dividing fans on social media. We are asking students what are their thoughts on the situation that is still unfolding. It was very shocking considering so many of my friends planned to go that day. Well, it's just a tragedy overall. Scott took to Instagram shortly after the events to apologize, stating, I just want to send out prayers to the ones who were lost last night. We are actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through these tough times. Fans have since voiced their opinions on social media, criticizing the apology's authenticity. How has Travis Scott's response to the whole situation affected your support for the rapper? Um, it did kind of seem a little forced and ungenuine, so I think it was more for publicity rather than him actually being sorry. So it's not, not great. Uh, not very much. I still really like him. Uh, he's a performer. That's why he, it's what he does. Houston native rapper Travis Scott allegedly instigated the crowd's rowdy behavior. Witnesses described the scene as nothing short of pure chaos, leaving no room to even move. It was definitely super crazy. You know, I'm a big guy. I can, like, not get shaken up pretty easily, but I couldn't move. You know, I was just getting thrown left and right. And then it was intense. You know, I was having a hard time breathing. It was, yeah, but... It was, it was intense. On Tuesday, a lawsuit of $750 million was filed against Scott on behalf of 125 victims and more to follow. Houston and Harris County leaders agree there needs to be a change. Well, I think they need to step up security, you know, pat down more, you know, just a lot of, just beef up security a little bit, man. You know, check people better, you know what I mean? Don't just let people slide through the door. Don't be lazy on your job. Just do your job 100%. That's all I tell them. Uh, I already wasn't a huge person for concerts, um, but definitely swayed my mind as far as going if I'm a female and people are going to be moshing and raging. Um, it definitely puts me in an uncomfortable position about being comfortable to go to those type of concerts. Going forward, concerts may start to look different with participants' safety becoming a priority. This has been Chris Goodwin with At UH Entertainment, and I'll see you next time, Cougs.